What is going on guys, Tizwava here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now, last time we left off, we finally found the Truffle Worms, and then we finally got started on our Chlorophyte Farm, wherever that is. There it is, right there. As you can see, it's still, it's still growing right now. I did harvest it a couple times off camera between this episode and last episode, so I need to go down there to harvest some more. I also put a chest down there as well that I'm storing mud inside of, because, uh, you know, I don't I don't want to take up room over here in this chest, and, you know, if I want to get more mud to, to continue filling this out whenever I mine more Chlorophyte, might as well have it just nearby, so I don't have to come all the way back up here to get it, right? So that's good. But uh, since last time we left off, I did find like three more truffle worms, and I was only able to catch one. Like, it, like they kept spawning in water, and because I have the... Do the terrace part boots do the walk on water thing? Yeah, 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 walks on water, honey and lava. Because I walked on water with that, like I, I went on the water, and then I was like trying to catch it, but I didn't realize I was walking on water, and I couldn't catch the the the... the the worm and then just burrowed away instantly, so that kind of sucked. Thankfully, the third one, finally third time's the charm, was able to catch that one. I put it over here in the summoning chest or whatever it's called. Yeah, summoning items. So we have a truffle worm over here. If we want to, you know, if we feel confident enough to take on that, that Duke Fishron thing again, then we can do that with that truffle worm. And also between this episode and last episode, went to the jungle, you know, try and kill some, uh, some turtles, you know, because we can make the turtle armor if we get enough turtle shells. And I used two Spelunker potions, because you guys definitely recommended, hey, if you want to find more life fruit, definitely you need to use the Spelunker potions. I don't even know where I was whenever I did this. I think I was over here. Yeah, I, you can see I like, dug down into the ground a few times there, uh, up here too. And then, yeah, there's some hallowed over here, which is actually kind of interesting. I don't know why there's hallowed there. Huh. Or what looked like hallowed, because it had like crystal. Yeah, like this. Yeah, crystal shards. Yeah, here we go. See, this was hallowed over there. I don't know what's going on with the hallowed. We just have a random hallowed biome over there. <laughs> but yeah, I found uh, five life fruit you can see in my inventory right now. We're at 425 health. So we take those. Boom. Uh, oh, 450 health now. Boom. Nice. Awesome stuff. Man, that should definitely help us out whenever we're going up against these bosses. Remember, we can only gain 50 more life, apparently. So we can only get up to like 500 life. But hey, we're halfway from the 400 life we had before, halfway to getting up to that maximum 500 life, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. And also, we have some presents being dropped by stuff. I don't know what's dropping it, but I, I have like three presents randomly in my inventory, so I suppose it's going to be like the crates where you just open it up by right-clicking. And we got ourselves some pine tree blocks and Christmas pudding. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guess I could uh, go put that in the plants in the food chest, so there you go. Plant some Christmas tree block or pine tree block. I guess I can build a giant Christmas tree. Do you guys want to do that? What day is it right now? Yeah, it's about a week until, or actually, about nine days until uh, Christmas for me recording this right now. I guess we can place one somewhere, maybe on top of our house. Let's see. What does that look like though? If I placed it right here. Oh, whoa! I was about to say, like, I need to go get, like, a, a piece of wood or something like that. And oh, what in the world? Okay, hold on. I think I'm getting kind of confused by this. Oh, whoops, destroying my own house. <laughs> <laughs> this is with the wood back. There you go. Alright, so if I'm going to build a Christmas tree here, should I build it here? Where this thing is? Like, wh when am I ever using this thing? Like, <laughs> I guess I can get rid of it, so, uh, yep. There you go. Weather vane, we can get rid of that temporarily, and then we can put the Christmas tree here. So I guess it has to have one at the bottom, and that'll count as the bottom, and then I guess I can build it up, huh? So I guess we'll build this up as tall as I can go. Uh, so there you go. That's about as tall as that'll get. Then we'll build it one, two, three, four, five. I guess five in each. Oh, you can't even go through it. Ooh. So one, two, three, four, four, five. Then I guess I'll try and like slowly build it upwards, you know? So maybe the first uh, will be five, maybe like 10 wide or something like that. So it would be 20 wide and, or 21, <laughs> 21 wide in general, you know, that number. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there you go. There's 10 there. Then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10. And then we'll just kind of stagger it out or uh, whatever. So there you go. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a huge tree. I need to get more of those presents if I want to finish this Christmas tree. Yeah, we're we going to we're definitely going to run out like soon. I made this way too big. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Well, you know what? At least that kind of incentivized me to you know kill more. Okay, I think that's good there. You know, kill more stuff to hopefully drop more of these pine tree blocks or whatever. Now, what if we can get like ornaments we could put on this thing? That'd be really cool. Let's see. There you go. I think that's good. I'm not actually counting, I'm just eyeing it right now. And this is definitely not going to be symmetrical right now, so there you go. <laughs> there you go, it looks so weird. Alright, well, we also have the weather vane. I guess if we put that at the top of the Christmas tree, or maybe, uh, 
if we can somehow get like a, a fallen star or whatever to put at the top of the Christmas tree, that'd be pretty fun. But for right now, I guess that's just what our Christmas tree is going to look like. You can, hey, well, you can kind of see it right there, pine tree. I guess I can get more of that stuff uh, here in the future. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, uh, the the pumpkins that we got. You know, there's like a Halloween event and there's also a Christmas event, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and oh, oh yeah, by the way, like the bunnies and stuff like that. I saw those were wearing like Santa hats. So if we could find one wearing a Santa hat, show you guys, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> but for right now, uh, we do have the Defender Medal still in my inventory. Let's before I forget. Let's go down here, let's go buy some uh, stuff from Patty. So that'd be the Valhalla's Knight Helm, Valhalla's Knight's Breastplate, and Valhalla's Knight's uh, Greaves. So let's get all those for whatever, I don't know. Let's just buy it. Oh, what was it, like 225 or something like that? I don't know how much it actually costs right there. <laughs> but either way, we just have it all right there. We have 68... Whoa, why is our defense lower there? I thought our defense was higher. I guess we lost some defense for something. Hmm. I don't know, but, oh yeah, maybe the wings or something like that, yeah. I think maybe our previous wings gave us some defense and gave us up to, like, 70 or something, I don't know. Either way, let's do this. Whoops, uh, right click. So up to 74 with that. Okay, so our, our, our armor rating does go up. Oh, I probably should have tested our DPS. You know, let's go get the DPS meter. See if we can uh, see a noticeable difference between our current armor and our old armor. Uh, DPS meter, there you go. So we're wearing the Valhalla's Knight armor right now. Does it say what it's, uh, greatly enhances ballista effectiveness? Is that the set bonus? Set, oh wait, set bonus increases your max number of sentries. Ooh, so I could have uh, two of these things then? Flame burst staff. Whoa, whoa, I could have four? What? Oh man, I thought it only like increased it by like one or something like that. I guess every piece of armor gives me a plus one to sentries. That seems crazy good, you guys, whoa. Like, these flame bursts are pretty decent. 194 summon damage. So we're doing essentially almost, like, 800 damage here uh, just from the flame bursts. You know, assuming they'll connect with whatever I'm fighting, like the Duke Fishron or whatever. Holy, that's good. And then uh, we need to see... And if I switch my armor, those, like, disappear. Like, what happens? Uh, yeah, they do. And just, the, I guess, the one of the last one I placed down is still the one that's there. But we have the DPS meter right now. What's that thing? Okay, yeah, DPS meter right there. Let's test it out with... Something that's consistent, like the Terra Blade. So let's do that. So we're at uh, 1400, 1500, 1300, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1300, 1100, 1100. I'd say, oh god, it's even in the thousands now. Will it go under a thousand? I don't know. Well, we keep on hitting like bunnies and stuff like that in the background. So I assume that's adding to our, because it's able to shoot through the training dummy, you know? But uh, yeah, every time you're hearing like a splat in the background, it goes up to like 500 DPS. But I'd say it's around 1100. Uh, 1100 to maybe 1300, I'd say, is a safe way to estimate that. So, 1100, 1300, switch over to the Valhalla armor there and wait for a DPS to kind of settle down, I guess. Is that going to go down or? I guess not. Okay. Okay, so our DPS has gone down. Definitely noticeably gone down. I don't know, like 200, maybe 300 DPS there. Holy heck. Uh. Let's back up over a thousand, but it's definitely like, it's in the 800s, it's hitting 800, 700, 1,000. It's nowhere near the 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500s that we're seeing just a moment ago, so golly. Well, then again, this stuff, uh, oh yeah, you can't tell, uh, you can't like reforge it or whatever, yeah. 10% increased melee damage, critical strike chance, 15% increased minion and melee damage, yeah, that, that, that's gone. And then, uh, 7% increased damage overall, holy heck. And in return, we have max number of sentries by two and increases minion and melee damage by 10. So our melee damage goes up by 10 by that, or from that, so that's good. 30% increased minion damage and massively increased life regeneration. Ooh, that's good there. And then 20% uh, increased minion damage and melee critical strike and movement speed goes up by 20% as well. Whoa. So are we like noticeably faster right now? Oh wait, what armor are we wearing? Yeah, we're wearing that. I don't know, like 20%, I feel like I'd notice that. I'm not really noticing it right now. Let's switch back over to the whatever we had in like that mix we just had. I'm not noticing it right now. I, w I wish we had something that said, oh, you're moving at this many tiles per second right now. And I'll be able to actually measure it like that. You know, I don't know. Like, would that be noticeable? Like if our minions do that much extra damage. So we're at 184 summon damage with our, uh, wait, what it was that? Like 190 something just a moment ago. What happened? Hold on. Valhalla, Valhalla, Valhalla. Yeah. It was at like 190-something just a moment ago. I don't know why it's down now, though. Ooh. Hold on. Well, it was 146 earlier, so yeah, it has gone up a lot. 
Man, yeah. I wonder why it went down, though. It was at 190-something just a moment ago. Is it because oh, I might have had, like, some sort of potion or something like that? Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. There's the bunny right there. You see, that's a... It's not an Easter bunny. It's a Christmas bunny. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. Funny Christmas bunny. Anyways, I guess we can keep this armor for right now. Uh, I do also want to make that one armor that you can make out of the claw fight. I forgot what it was called, but uh, how much do we have right now? I don't think we have too much, do we? Uh, Mithril, where is it? There it is. We have, we have Thrill. What? 312. I got that much? I did, I wasn't even counting, you guys. <laughs> Holy heck. Okay. Uh, I assume that is enough for whatever we're trying. Hold on. Let's make that into uh, ingots. Because I assume we can't make anything out of the raw ore, right? Oh, yeah, we need five. Oh, yeah, you need five for uh, one ingot, so that kind of sucks. But what can we make out of the chlorophyte bars, though? I put that here, boom. What armor? Oh, yeah, chlorophyte plate. 13 defense, 18 defense. Then headgear, 7 defense. Mask is 20 defense, though. Ooh, 16% increased melee damage. 6%, ooh. Helmet there, though. That's for ranged. You know what? How much How much are these things? 12 there? Pfft. I could do that, you guys. We, we can definitely make the chlorophyte mask, the, uh, it's just that we're, we're going to have to make, I'm going to turn all the chlorophyte we have right now into bars. So we can kind of consolidate everything, kind of keep track of, okay, we, we have this much chlorophyte we could use. And then, of course, we could upgrade the armor later to turtle armor. Once we get enough turtle shell, I still have zero turtle shells, so that kind of sucks. But for right now, let's get to, and then we have chlorophyte, like, tools and stuff over here. Jackhammer, warhammer, uh, saber, claymore. Is there one of these things I need for, like, that one sword that like swings out a thousand swords at the same time i don't know glorified greaves uh five percent increased movement speed and eight percent increased critical strike chance that's all right five percent increased just damage overall that's better than the three percent we're getting over here just a moment ago right was it three percent or was it seven yeah it was seven there Ooh, seven compared to uh okay so it does go down there Ooh, at least compared to that then uh, this is the one 16 percent increased melee damage though compared to uh only 10 so i guess that kind of makes up for it then huh so uh, i think our uh our, our, our defense will go down if we get this, but I, I think overall our damage should go up, right? So let's get the chlorophyte mask. Boom. Get the chlorophyte uh, plate mail. There you go. Get that. Like, I could already just see. Like, look at that. 27 defense, 24 defense, 11 defense. Like, this is 18. This is 20. <laughs> so I feel like we should have got this, like, way earlier on. Oh, whoops. Do I need to make more? Uh, yeah, I do. I have, like, no chlorophyte bars, basically. Yep. There you go. Now, how much do I need to get the greaves? Probably a lot more. Holy heck. I guess so. Get a few more of those. Yep. There you go. Greaves, 18 of those. Sheesh, okay. Let's get those. 13 defense. At least, like I said, we're able to upgrade it in the future, so it's not like this is a waste or anything like that, at least right now. But that took, like, almost all of our chlorophyte right there. I didn't realize I had that many, but man, I guess it, in the end, it wasn't really that much. But there you go. We have a uh, raw chlorophyte I can still use to, uh, you know, continue that farm down there, as well as chlorophyte we just used to make full chlorophyte armor. So let's see. We're at 70 uh, defense right now, down to 53 with the chlorophyte armor, but... If we check out our DPS. Oh, whoops. That's <laughs> oh, wait, what's that thing, though? Leaf crystal shoots crystal leaves at nearby. Ed what? Is that what that meme is? Why is that above my head? Can I, like, have that stop? <laughs> it looks kind of stupid. Hold on. So if I fight some enemies. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. Wow. 1,100, 1,200. Oh, 1,000 now. 1,100 again. So I'm trying to aim upwards a little bit. There you go. Now it's hitting uh, Zahn's house, so it's not going to hit any bunnies and stuff. So it's now, now it's a lot more consistent. 1,200. I saw 1,400 there just a moment ago. But yeah, that just depends on how many crits we get. That's going to raise up that DPS, of course. And then, yeah, it hits 900 there occasionally as well. But still better than the Valhalla armor, but of course, we're like almost 20 points below on defense because of that. Sheesh. I don't know. What are I don't know what armor I should be wearing right now. Should I have and what is the set bonus for this? Summons a powerful leaf crystal to shoot at nearby enemies. So that's what the set bonus was. Reduces damage taken by 5%. Whoa! And reduces damage taken by 5%. Whoa! Maybe that makes up for the defense. Cause that's 15% right there if it stacks up like that. Huh. I need to have like some you know what? We should do one of those battles. What are they called? Uh like the pirate battle, and we have a blood moon. That we could, we have multiple blood moons. We can summon. And look at those two bunnies right there. I, I guess I'll go ch ch see what the summoning things are that we have right now. Yeah, we have the pirate map. Yeah, we have the pirate map. We have gelatin crystal for like queen and all that kind of stuff. We have the truffle worm. Of course, I'm not going to be doing that. I guess we could do the mechanical worm just because why not? We haven't had that in a while, and I kind of want to test our stuff on it. You know what? Let's do it. It is nighttime right now. We only have nighttime for a little bit longer, but I guess we could do it anyways. So we have. Oh yeah. Hmm. You know, I guess we could test it out. I was about to say, like, I wanted to test out the, uh, Valhalla armor with my heckin' summons and stuff like that to see how good it is. But I kind of want to see how good this, like, leaf crystal meme is. Oh, wait, yeah, there it is, like, there, shooting. 
I guess it is like a summon that's like attached to my head. And it's constantly sh Now, how much damage does that do? I wasn't even paying attention right there. Let's see how much does this eye. 84? Eh? Can't complain, I guess. And it's moving around, so it's not like static like the, uh... Like the, like the summons or whatever you put on the ground, so that's cool. Oh yeah, I need a summon in my head. Nobody got my spider back. There you go. So it's doing... Yeah, it does like 85 damage right there to the wandering eye, so that's cool. Uh, but we only have like an hour left to do the mechanical worm, so I might as well do it like right now! Oh, let's fall up, fly up! There he is right there, there's the mechanical worm. Let's hit him with this. Try and do as much damage, let's make it go fly through all of his segments there. Try and try and do a maximum heckin' damage. Wait, oh! Yeah, it, it is flying through his segments, so that's good. Look at all that damage he's doing, oh my gosh! And I'm killing all of his eyeball guys too, which is cool. Come on, shoot through the segments, do maximum damage, and he's down! Nice! Man, that is nothing. These guys are nothing now. I'm like, they better be. I didn't even see how much damage my uh, my crystal thing about my head was doing. <laughs> but yeah, we only have like 30 more seconds until uh, it's daytime. So yeah, we need to do that like real quick right there. So I'm glad that I killed him there. Sheesh. What's this thing? Candy cane? What's that for? Oh, it's oh candy cane. Oh, I guess candy cane is like the reskin, kind of like the uh, the candy apple or whatever it was. Or if, uh, if, it, if an enemy drops, like, health that you can pick up to heal up, it's, it's in the form of a candy cane now instead of, like, a heart. That's funny. But I guess we could do, like, the pirate battle or something next. Oh, yeah, and we got hallowed bars, soul of might, and all that kind of jazz. That's cool. Let's go put up those real quick. Boom. There you go. And wandering eye banner, Ulysses butterfly. I guess I'll put that. Oh! Throwing a party. Whoa! Oh, yeah, we need to get more presents. I need to see who drops the presents and stuff, you know? There you go. Put that up. I got a diamond bunny. Yeah, that's, like, that's worth, like, nothing. But it's daytime right now. I assume we could do the pirate battle. I don't, I don't know if the pirate battle's like, oh, you only have to do it at nighttime or only uh, during the daytime or whatever, but thankfully, I can do it, like, right now if I wanted to, because it's daytime, and I'm pretty sure we fought the pirates during the daytime, like, pretty much every time, but it is partying right now. You guys probably shouldn't be partying whenever we're getting invaded by pirates. Pirates are approaching from the west, and they're probably going to approach from the east as well, <laughs> so I might as well get, prepare here. I guess I can place down one of these real quick. You know what? Yeah, because it's the pirate meme here, switch over to the Valhalla armor. There you go. I guess we can place down a bunch of these, so we can get some on top of our house. Get defenses, like, everywhere, basically. There you go. And then we'll put one on Zahn's house, and that's going to cover, like, the whole area. Oh, yeah, we already have one on Zahn's house. That's good. Now, where are they? Man, I just wanted to test out my stuff, and now it's got canceled. Well, thankfully we have- Oh, wait, no, never mind. The pirate invasion's here. I guess they just took forever to get over here. <laughs> so there you go. We got our flame burst working right now, which is good. It's able to- f Oh my god, this thing does so much damage. It's dragons, flying dragon here. Golly. And then once we get their, uh, their flying Dutchman here, that's gonna be so much easier now. Because we, we could shoot, like, all four cannons or- Oh, whoops, accidentally clicked outside the window. We shoot, like, all four cannons at the same time, if we, if we line it up perfectly. And then, yeah, they're, they're all the flame bursts right there defending pretty well. I think we're doing a pretty good job defending as well. Well, the flame bursts over here doing- Oh, well, they're, they're approaching from both sides. We cleared 18% right now, and I'm not even really seeing anything too crazy. We're not even really getting swarmed too bad. Like, we're killing things super, super easily. Maybe it's because of the flame burst. Maybe it's because of my flying dragon. Maybe it's because of both. I don't know, but we're killing a ton of things. They're getting killed by the Christmas tree, too. <laughs> hey, look at all these presents over here. I've got a present for the pirates, and it's called Death Hater. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get to shoot them through the house, too, because this thing can go through walls. That's awesome. Oh, pirate over there. Good. Nice. Yeah, you guys are partying a little bit too early because I'm getting invaded by pirates. Oh, yeah, I forgot we get really good loot. They drop a bunch of gold stuff, so that's good. And doesn't this armor give us more regen? Or is it the... Uh, we're wearing the Valhalla right now. I don't know if it's... Oh, wait, there's the Flying Dutchman right there. Hold on, I kind of want to... I don't know if I should... Should I let my... Uh, my what are your sentries? I, I kind of want to let my sentries attack it, but at the same time, I kind of want... Oh, it's stuck on the thing. Look at that. Now we're attacking all four at the same time. This is what I'm talking about. Cheesing at heart. Look at that! Extreme cheese. Man. Just killed that thing with no effort whatsoever. Holy heck. Man, these guys are all stuck inside the- Oh, it spawned- It literally just spawned in right in front of my face. Wait, I, I don't even have a face. What am I talking about? There you go. See, I'm doing the same thing again. <laughs> this is so much easier. I'm still- I'm still regening like hardcore right now. You guys, it's insane. There's two flying Dutchmans right there. I don't think we've ever fought two flying Dutchmans at the same time. Maybe the game never expects me to- And we have a third! I guess the game never expects you to kill the flying Dutchman this fast, so- <laughs> It's, it, it just keeps spawning them in until I guess all the pirates are done uh, spawning in the game. If we kill it uh, before 100%, are we going to get a fourth? There we go, 99% now. Nah, 100% uh, invasion cleared, alright. Well, the pirates have been defeated, it says, so I guess that's the end of that. And we're probably going to get a lot of money from that, you guys. Awesome stuff. 
So let's go pick up all the gold. Go pick up all their uh, drops and stuff like that over here. Hopefully, I did clear out the void vault as well. So we should have like, oh, and then of course slimes over here wearing an umbrella hat. <laughs> we should have enough room inside the void vault to uh, pick up all the heckin' like gold bathtubs and gold chests and whatever else that they're dropping over here, which is good. Let's just go pick up everything. Oh, and look at that. There's a present right there. Cool. Oh, we have four. Whoa. We need to do this more, you guys. I need to. I need to. I need to record as much Terraria like right now as possible. Cause we're getting. We're getting tons of presents right now. This is. This is amazing. Hold on. Temporarily going to put up all my armor. Just get some uh, inventory space back. So, uh, hallowed. What is this stuff? Crystal Assassin Gladiator. I don't, it's just kind of a mix of stuff. So I guess I'll just put that there. Sure, why not? There you go. Uh, what was I even wearing? Hallowed Squires and Hallowed. Yeah, I had a little bit of mixing. Uh, hallowed and uh, whatever the other guy had. Golden platform, we can uh, sell that, we can sell that, we can sell that. Warding discount cards, shop prices are lowered by 20%, wow! Okay, so if I'm buying something, definitely wanna equip this. I'm like, it doesn't matter, like, ugh, I don't have, I can't walk on lava or whatever for 20 seconds, who cares, right? As long as we can save 20% of our money, right? Definitely wanna keep that. Gold clock, there's our weather, weather vane, bunch of uh, banners there. Gold bookcase, cut list over here, gold sink, more uh, banners and blah, blah, blah. And how much money? We got 46 straight up gold. Oh, wait, that's not even all the gold. I can continue getting even more gold over here, you guys. It's Christmas Day. We got gold and money under our Christmas tree. <laughs> and we might even be able to finish the Christmas tree like right now. You guys see all those presents we just got? And I assume I can place those down too. Can I do that? I guess I could uh, myth bust real quick though. I can't. Look at that. And they're like different colors depending on what tile you put them on. Actually, you, you can change them by just, uh, yeah, look at that. You can change them by switching the color there. Cool. There you go. Get a different color there. Green, blue. Awesome, look at that. <laughs> like, I know the Christmas tree's technically floating there, but at the same time, uh, there you go. Just go and place down a few of them, because I do want to get whatever loot's inside those. I don't want to miss out on that, right? <laughs> so, let's go over here, let's go pick up all the loot, or uh, all the coins or whatever, go put that up inside our pick. I don't even know how much money we have now. Uh, but, oh, so does that card that gives us better prizes, does that mean buying and selling? So if I equip that right now, actually, you know what, let's go talk to, uh, who gave us the best prize? I think Zon gave us the best prizes beforehand, right? See, if I wanted to sell like this cutlass, five gold, 92 silver, but if I have the shop card, like where the wings are, like I'm not gonna fly anytime soon, right? Five gold, 92 silver. What was I selling just a moment ago? Five gold, okay, so I can't sell things for cheaper, but I could buy stuff for cheaper, so. Tool belts, eight gold, I assume that was uh, 10 gold just a moment ago, so if I, uh, oh, I can't change out my inventory while I'm in the, okay. And there you go. Put this on again, and yeah, that's 10 gold. Awesome. Nice, you guys. So if I ever want to buy something from, uh, you know what? This is going to be really good for, like, buying a bundle, like, something I buy a lot of, like, bullets from, uh, from, what is his name? Uh, Dante? Or, what else could, oh, I, does it work for him? Does it work for Patty? Could I have just saved a bunch of money? If I had just waited and did the pirate battle and all that kind of stuff? No, okay, so it's still 75 defender medals, which, by the way, I still have 136 right now, so. I can still buy some stuff. I might as well put them up over here, just get some inventory space back as well, as to, uh, you know, just kind of consolidate there. He's throwing, uh, like, party poppers and stuff there. That's funny. But, yeah, if I ever want to, like, buy stuff, then that's amazing there, you guys. Definitely want to keep that. Maybe in our piggy bank. Should I keep it in my piggy? Yeah, let's be keeping, uh, keep it in the piggy bank. Just in case I ever want, you know, if I ever come across a merchant randomly, I, I could always, like, access that. Uh, and if I put it over here, I'll probably forget about it anyway, so it's a little bit more, uh, easy to find. Oh yeah, and then we have worms over here. I need, I need to get the worms. Of course, we have a lot of fallen stars. We turn the worms into the enchanted night crawlers or whatever. That's going to be good. Well, let's sell all the, the trash we just got, like the cutlasses and the gold platforms have no value. Whatever, I'll sell it anyways. At least get out of my inventory. <laughs> get a uh, golden candle there for two gold and banners I don't care about. We have so many banners and stuff. Gold clock. There you go. Put all that up. And that's good. I can sell the weather vent. Where do we even get that? I don't know. You know, I'm going to keep that. You know, we had it for the longest time. I don't want to get rid of it. It's kind of like a sentimental thing. Sen sentimental thing? Not sentiment. It's not a rock. <laughs> Let's go put up the, uh, the, what was I doing over here? Oh, yeah, the money. Let's go put it up over here. Yep, there you go. Let's go put up the worm. Can I stack the worms over here? I guess I turned all the worms into enchanted night crawlers, which I might as well do. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it as that just for right now. Anyways, let's open up the presents, though. Ah, uh, yeah, let put up the DPS meter, too. Open up the presents, see how many, uh, like more evergreen or pine tree blocks or whatever we got right there. So let's see. Let's go right here so we can actually see what appears above our head. Green candy cane blocks. Holly. Okay, so we got a wreath right there. More, oh nice, more pine tree blocks, perfect. More pine tree blocks. Green candy cane block. Ooh, so I can decorate the, hold on. So can I uh, like lawn ornaments, like do this? And then how do I curl that? 
Uh, let's see, I have to go up here and then... You know, can I walk through that or, uh... Ooh, man! Uh, I wanted that to be in the background. Uh, see, if I could walk through that, that'd be really cool, like, lawn ornament meme, but... Can't really do that if it's, like... There we go. I don't know what to do with the green candy cane block, then. If it's, like, actually out in the open like that, you know? So that kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. More ch oh, awesome. We're over 100 pine tree blocks. That's good. Parka hood, coat, and pants. So now we look like Kenny if we wear this, right? So I put this over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. I do look like Kenny a little bit there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyways, oh, why do my pants look like it? Oh, it's because I got the Terra Spark boots on. Yeah, see, there you go. I look a little bit more like Kenny there. But I've got so many, like, accessories on right now, you can't even see. <laughs> it's like, I got, like, a shield, I got wings, I got, like, a necklace or something crazy. What else do we get? Snow globe, ooh. And a holly again. Pine, more pine tree blocks. I'm going to hit 200. Star, what? Star anise? Got 18 range damage, uh, no knockback. I don't know what that even is. I guess it's like a throwing star meme. Then more pine tree blocks. Hey, we almost hit 200 right there at 100. So well, we probably could if we got the other presents and opened those as well. But for right now, let's go over here. Let's try and finish that pine tree real quick if I even can. Or Christmas tree if I even can. Uh, it didn't give us any Christmas like ornaments, like tree ornaments or anything like that. So that kind of sucks. So I wonder, uh, I, I really feel like I made this too big. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm going to be able to like decorate it properly. It's just going to be like completely dark in the middle unless I put torches all over it, which I probably will to be quite honest. But uh, let me let me continue building on this Christmas tree real quick, you guys. And I feel like we have enough pine tree blocks to finish it because, of course, the higher you go up on this tree, the less pine tree blocks or whatever this is called that you're going to need. So, all right, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Our Christmas tree looks so it looks off. How do I fix that? It looks like way too thick. You know, it's too stubby. <laughs> How do I? <laughs> I just make it like two blocks tall for every like line here, I guess. That's probably how you fix it, because it looks really stupid right now. <laughs> oh man, come on, how did I mess up a Christmas tree? You know, I guess we can keep it, at least right now, at least it has a little bit of character if we look at it on the minimap. <laughs> it just looks like a Dorito chip or something there. Alright, well, I, we don't have any presents, unfortunately, so I, you know what, what about this holly thing? Can I put that like here or something? Where could I put this? I can't put it anywhere. What? Uh, I can, oh yeah, I guess I have to put it on something that has a background. Can I do it here? I can! Ooh, I can finally put something up here. Okay, let's do that. We have like two of them. Let's, uh, there you go, nice. Cool. Then we have a snow globe. It's a consumable frost... Summons the frost legion? What? Okay, I'm glad I didn't like try and place that down or else I'd summon in another reckon thing. I don't know if that's a boss or another thing like the pirate battle. Jeez. Then a uh, rock golem head, that's of course uh, vanity. I guess I could put that up over here. This is like just a... It's kind of like a memeing around episode, you guys. Like, we're not really getting too much done over here. We're just kind of messing around with all the stuff in the Christmas and our new armor and all the kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys are okay with it being a little bit less productive today. But I'm, I'm still having fun with this. Uh, a bunch of random blocks. Oh, what is this? Rainbow. Where did I get that? Rainbow brick. That seems really... You know what? That might be really good, like, Christmas lights. Let's put the green candy can. Can I, like... I don't know if I could... Like, slip those in over here randomly. And then, yeah, I guess we could put this thing at the top of the tree. Ugh, oh, it's not going to be centered. Oh my god, what? Oh, that's my spider right there. I can't even, yeah, I can't even put it there because it's not centered. Okay, well, I think I'm going to make it, well, if I make it too wide, it's, it's not going to have the wood bottom, is it? Yeah, see, look at that, now it doesn't have the wood bottom. Man, oh, that looks so nasty looking. Oh, it has two wood bottoms now. <laughs> it's like two trees growing into each other. Okay, man, I don't know how to fix that tree. If you guys know how to fix a tree, let me know, because I, I can, hey! Oh, you know what? I could hang that from the bottom. That's cool. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Except for that, that one right there has like weird brick textures. So that looks kind of stupid, honestly. And they're all kind of... Uh, that'd be really cool if they changed colors like independently, but they're all changing the same color like at the same time, which kind of sucks. But uh, I don't know. This looks. This just looks stupid. <laughs> the whole thing looks so weird. I'm, I'm so bad at decorating Christmas trees, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Either way... Uh, I should definitely settle down here, maybe end off the episode, because I'm hitting the 30 minute mark right now, and I don't know what this snow globe does, I don't know what the Frost Legion is, I, I need to be careful about that, make sure I don't, what was this thing again? Yeah, it's like a range thing, so I guess I put it up over here, whoops, there you go, uh, so I'll be careful about that thing, I put it up over here in the summoning items, because I don't want to accidentally, I can summon something in that I don't know what it is, right? So, need to be very careful with that, then we have pine tree blocks, I guess I could put that up in plants, so there you go, and then uh, we have this weather vane, which I don't even know what to do with right now, because I can't fit anywhere. <laughs> Guess I'll put it up over here and more structures. Sure, why not? There you go. 
All right, so we basically cleaned out our inventory right there. Uh, oh my god, look at all the worms! Awesome stuff! Oh, I never got my cake from, uh, the party girl. Although, I'm like, I don't have a cake right there. I don't need another one, do I? I guess I can go grab one real quick, just cause why not? Where you been? There's a party going on. Here, take the cake. All right, we got another cake right there. Can I sell it back? 53 silver. Awesome, thanks for the money. <laughs> You should have given me a gift card instead. Anyways, I guess we could end off the episode right there. I'm getting a lot of worms right now, which kind of sounds like I'm getting, like, a disease, but I'm literally getting worms. I'm trying to get, like, enchanted worms, and maybe I'll try and get more truffle worms off camera or something like that, but I doubt we're ready to take on that, that truffle worm thing. Either way, I guess I'll just end off the episode right here, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know. Hey, there you go. I can place a torch on top of it and around it, too, I guess, huh? If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. And be sure to click that bell as well so YouTube will notify you as soon as a video comes out. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria. Where hopefully I'm going to get more presents and we'll try and make this tree look a little bit better. As well as further prepare for those other boss battles, I do have my notes, uh... Another boss battle we could do, the Empress of Light boss, summoned by killing the Prismatic Lacewing, a rare creator that spawns on the surface hallow at night between 7.30pm and 12am once Plantera has been defeated in the current world. Yeah, we haven't made a, a hallowed, like, surface at all. I, I've been getting comments forever saying to <laughs> go buy, like, hallowed seeds or whatever and try and make that, as well as to make, like, a truffle surface. So maybe we'll go pay the, uh, whatever that one woman was called, uh, over in the jungle. Go pay her a visit, go buy some seeds next episode, and try and make some, like, surface biomes, and try and get that thing to spawn in, so that'd be pretty fun. But either way, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria. Oh, bye there. Oh.